So to get things started, well, what is Active Directory? Well, on the screen, I have a definition. It actually comes straight from Microsoft. And what this says is it says Active Directory Domain Services. And we're going to have our focus right now on that on those domain services. And I'll explain that more in just a minute. But Active Directory Domain Services and its related services form the foundation for enterprise networks running Microsoft Windows as together... They act as tools to store information about the identities of users, computers, and services, to authenticate a user or computer, and to provide a mechanism with which the user or computer can access a resource in the enterprise. Now, like I said, that's the actual definition straight from Microsoft, but basically Active Directory or Directory Services as a whole. Now remember here I said we're focusing on the Active Directory domain services and I'll, I'll explain that again in just a moment but directory services as a whole is kind of the underlying foundation to how networks work. Okay I mean technically a network can work by just having two computers talking to each other and sharing resources but in the actual enterprise environment we need to be more productive than just having a bunch of computers that share stuff with each other. We have to have some kind of centralized database or central repository of information. And maybe even we could say central control of that information. Well, that's what Active Directory Domain Services is. Now, why do I keep putting the emphasis on domain services? Well, you'll notice here at the bottom of the screen, in Windows Server 2008, Active Directory is now made up of five services. The top one I have listed is Active Directory Domain Services, or ADDS. And I will tell you that the majority of this course is going to be focused on Active Directory Domain Services. But technically, Active Directory, if we just use that generic term, although we're usually referring to the domain services, it now includes four additional services, those being lightweight directory services, certificate services, rights management services, and federation services. Now we'll get into more detail about what each of those additional four services are much later in this course. I have individual lessons for each one of those. But basically what I can tell you is that all of those services did previously exist. They just weren't part of Active Directory. They were each a component in of their self. In fact, the, the closest thing I would say is, I suppose, lightweight directory services. It was kind of associated with Active Directory in the past. But for the most part, these were all separate services. They were all separate beasts on their own. And now Microsoft has brought them all together in Active Directory. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Remember Active Directory domain services is what we're going to talk about for the majority of this course and then near the end I'll go ahead and give you a lesson on each one of the four additional Active Directory services which are now available.